here I want to demo the three phase voltage source. Everything which was set for the single phase source is also applicable for the three phase source. There is, however, one exception. You see that on one of the phases there is such a dot. So we have the three phases RST and the phase at the dot is on the R phase. And if you interconnect more than one source, you have to be sure, make sure that the dot is always on the same phase. So you see, for example, if you now right click on this source, you can either flip or rotate the source. If you rotate the source, this is what happens. And if you want to now connect these sources to each other, for example, you have to make sure that the same faces are always connected to each other, otherwise uh, the, the model will not work. So if you want to flip it, you right click on it and then you flip and you see now you have the same faces on each other. You can also flip uh, the faces if you go to the entry mask, uh, to the input mask and you flip it here. So it has the same effect. So you can flip it here entry mask or here flip flip there are two type of sources with a small little difference so in this source here the RST phases are connected by the neutral whereas here they are not connected if you want to have the same source from here and here you would have here to interconnect uh, the the neutral and then they behave exactly the same if not you can series connect the three phase source to another source and you are much more flexible but normally you will most probably use only this source here another important difference between single phase and three phase is the traces you see that here you have a fourth trace so if you keep the trace p then you will see that you get power output for each and every phase individually. However, if you push instead of the P, you go to the G, you get the sum of the power output. And this is a straight line, as you can see down there. If the circuit is balanced, meaning that the power of the load is equal for each one of the phases, then the reactive power of the three phases neutralize each other. And therefore, the remaining straight red line here is the sum of the active power. You can also roughly model the transient, subtransient behavior of a generator. As long as the generator tick box is off, you get access to this transient and subtransient, where you have to input the power of the machine, three phase, and then in percentage P values, you have to add these ones. And then you can run such a simulation and you get the transient short circuit currents. Test all the source features yourself. Go to www.ecsb.ch.